Okay, so how has your first few weeks uh, being a professional gone for you? Walk me through um, what what you've been up to with the Ravens so far, Kyle. Yeah, so obviously got drafted by the Ravens, and then soon after rookie minicamp, and then uh, into OTAs, and then into mandatory minicamp with all the vets and stuff. But it's uh, it's been a whirlwind. It's been stressful, but it's been fun uh, mostly at the end of the day. Um, it's kind of surreal. I was talking with one of the other rookies before practice, um, before one of the mini camp practices, and I was just running out onto the field and just kind of hit me like it hits me like once a day. Like, dang, I'm really in the NFL, and um, it's something that I'm grateful for. It's been challenging, but I mean, I've just accepted it. I'm just ready to get to work. What's been the biggest challenge, do you think, so far um, for you? I would say when when they say you're a rookie and you go from top of the hill back to the bottom, that's the truest thing ever. It's uh, it's such a shift in culture and way of thought um, from college, being a captain, being a leader on the team, and uh, becoming a rookie and back to being a young guy again. It's humbling, but it's it's part of the process, and I'm ready to embrace it. So who, who's making you carry their bags? Is that what we're talking about? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm uh, getting hazed from all different angles. Everybody, everybody's got got their hand on me, but uh, no, it's been uh, it hasn't been too crazy. It's just carrying helmets. Yep, um, going to pick stuff up. It's just the usual stuff. Oh, okay, give me, give me what have you been asked to pick up, Kyle? And how far away? How far away was it? Because I've heard I've heard rookies have been made to drive like sixty miles sometimes to just get a special oh, wow. cup of coffee somewhere. I've heard that. I've heard stories like that. What about well, you? Don't, I have not done that yet. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so what's the, what, what have you been asked to pick up? Uh, an iPad. I had to go buy an iPad. I was reimbursed for it, um, if you were wondering. Um, okay. But I think if I wasn't, it, it, I couldn't say anything. No. But, um, I had to go pick up an iPad. I actually forgot his case for the iPad. I got everything but the case, and, and that didn't go over well. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it didn't go over well? Were you sent back to the Apple store for that? Are you, were you sent uh, back? He, he was, I said I would, but it was one of those things like, he said, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, oh, it's like when your parent has to do something after you don't do it right. Mm. And, yeah. So, I mean, that's strike one. I'll, I'll try not to strike out. Ha, okay. And w- who chose 14? You? I mean, wh- where did number 14 come from, Kyle? Um, it's kind of funny. I've never really been into numbers like that. And sure. Coming into college, they asked me what number I wanted. And Notre Dame asked me. And I said, I don't really care. Just give me any number. I thought. I would make the number if, if anything, and I feel like I did at Notre Dame, and I was 14th pick, coincidentally, mm. and 14 was available in Baltimore, and so I was like, well, this is this number's kind of following me, so um, made sense, and now I'm 14 again. What are your goals, Kyle Hamilton, for your rookie year? What are you what are you hoping to achieve in your rookie um, for Baltimore? I think it may sound cliche, but at the end of the day, one of my main goals is just gain everybody on the team's respect because. Um, hopefully I'll be in Baltimore for a long time and at this level respect is a big thing um, you know I'm a younger guy drafted highly um, coming to a, a room a facility with a bunch of people who have invested who have been doing it a long time and I want to be able to establish myself within the organization be comfortable making calls on the field and people being comfortable with me making calls and stuff like that so establishing respect um, I feel like is is a big thing for me and football wise just Starting every game, uh, performing the best of my abilities, obviously win a Super Bowl, all that. I feel like we have a great team that's capable of doing that year in, year out. So um, this year is no different. I'm just trying to add on to that. Well, I mean, if you want to earn respect, Kyle, I would make sure I get Lamar his uh, iPad case when he uh, when, <laughs> when getting his iPad. Um, that 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 would be helpful to give Lamar his <laughs> iPad case. Next time, I'll probably just get to just to, just to make up for it. Okay. So does that confirm that it was Lamar who asked you for the to get the iPad in the iPad case? I, Kyle? I can confirm that it was not Lamar. Okay, oh, it was no, not no, no, Lamar. Lamar. Jack. <laughs> have you uh, have you attempted to track him down in a uh, practice yet, Kyle? Has that attempt has that uh, happened for you yet? Um, they told us very explicitly, um, <laughs> stay away from eight. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna abide by that. And, uh, I mean, I know at the end of the day, he uh, he wins us a lot of games. So I'm a, I'm gonna just have to imagine that. Stay away from eight is definitely a a good mantra to have. 